Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, the Associate Minister at Unity San Diego. Today is a beautiful Monday, September 28th. Can you believe that September is almost over with? It's kind of good that it's over with quickly, though, isn't it? I think be nice when this whole year is over with quickly. But, you know, there are some good points. And I, I looked at um, the other day, I, I'm not even sure who published it, who asked the question, name one good thing that happened to you so far in 2020. For me, it was becoming a an ordained, ordained unity minister. For other people, they had some really good things. And I spend more time with my kids or I do or I have time to now to do something I've always wanted to do, like write a book or so it was really um, it was kind of a wake up call there to just think about let's find one good aspect, one good aspect that has happened so far, one good thing in 2020. Let's be positive. Well, today, Monday, September 28th, the daily word really resonated with me. It was about create creativity. And the affirmation is, my joyful spirit is uniquely creative. Say that with me, please. My joyful spirit is uniquely creative. I began to think as I read parts in the daily word today that we are creative in so many different ways. And what truly resonated with me was some of the ways that the, the uh, text talked about people writing, acting, playing music, building, sewing, cooking, all these different ways that we uniquely express spirit in our creativity. And where do we better get this creativity? Where do we get these divine ideas? Why, of course, we get them when we center, we go into the silence, and we come up with these brilliant ideas. Sometimes I look back, um, it's through some of the writings that I wrote in ministerial school, and I'm like, who wrote that? I, I know I wrote it, but I know that I was divinely guided, and I sometimes it just really perks me up, and I think, wow. Wow, spirit really does guide my hand, guide my thoughts, guide the things that I do in my creativity, and guides all of us as long as we just allow that spirit to come and work within us. And it's so wonderful, the unique ways that that happens and the unique ways that, that we express, that we express our creativity. I was looking also online, I think it was Unity of San, San Francisco that's putting a beautiful uh, stained glass window up. How creative, how beautiful. And when we look around, if we look just a little bit farther, just a little deeper than with our earthly eyes, just a little farther looking for that spark of good, we can see all kinds of really cool things happening. I've noticed a lot more of those little libraries that are outside. I've noticed quite a few of those. And just think now, the holiday of Halloween is coming up. And I know some people will, you know, trick or treat if they want to, but some people won't. In fact, with my kids and grandkids, we're planning a creative party. And rather than to have a lot of candy, we'll have some, but it'll be a craft party where we're actually decorating and creating. And it'll begin before Halloween even starts, so that when Halloween happens, our patio will be completely filled with decorations that kids and adults have made. And so it's just an idea. And it was wonderful because when I thought of this, along with my daughter, Eliana, and my granddaughter, Alex, I got a call from a friend of mine that um, in Scouts, and she had 12 boxes of really great crafts. So we are getting prepared for that. And that daily word today just reminded me of that. How can we use the creativity that we have, whether it's volunteering, writing, dancing, whatever it is, we all have a gift to share. We all have something that we're good at, something we can do, 
something that we can do to make life better. So I invite you friends to, let's take a moment to just center. Just center, just get still. And while we are in our time of meditation, the sacred place, let's open our ideas, open our minds for divine ideas of creativity. Let's just take a moment now to breathe. Let that go. And let that go. Knowing that as we are, in this time of meditation, when we gather together, we are in a sacred space. A space of quiet, a space of unity. So I invite you friends to take anything you may be holding in your hands, in your laps, in your consciousness, and just set that aside. Set aside that to-do list, those worries, those thoughts. Set aside every concern that you might have and open your hearts. Even put your hands on your hearts if you choose. Open your heart to receive the guidance from spirit within. As we take this time to focus on positivity, on creativity, and divine ideas in the silence. I am positivity. I am creativity. I am love and joy. And as I open my awareness to listen for that voice and to listen to things I hear throughout the day, see things that might give me a nudge of what is mine to do. Maybe I'll hear something on the radio, a song, something that will spark my creativity to know that I am a joyful expression, a creative expression of the Christ presence within, sharing and expressing in my own unique individual way the many, many gifts that I have. And we say thank you. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. I invite you, friends, to take a breath. Open your eyes if you feel so moved. And just come back to that present. Think about what creative things you can be doing in the next few days. And I also invite you friends to think of one thing, one thing from January 1st through September 28th, one positive thing that has happened to you, for you, with you, that you know of, that you've witnessed in this crazy year of 2020 and share that with a friend share what share that with someone because you know when we look for the good that is exactly what we will see so take find one thing friends and focus on that share that 
look for that positivity. And as we know, the universe brings to us that which we focus upon. And as we focus with that good, with that good expression, as we focus, the universe will bring to us much more good. Well, thank you so much, friends, for joining me today. Have a wonderful, beautiful, lovely Monday. Namaste.